What up, Toke Hunters? Now that part two is confirmed to be the Hachiak Goku, we can pretty much put to rest the whole theory that maybe a global first could be dropping in this part two. We are now moving this over here and having a filler legendary summon or possibly a global first or something else entirely happening in the Yamcha part two. So in this video, we're going to be talking about how many stones we can expect to see in this upcoming part. And we are going to be talking about everything that you guys can be doing in the meantime to prepare for all of this content, because this is the first time in a long time, I think, that Global actually has a lot more to look forward to on the second part rather than the first part. I'm trying to think, when was the last time we had a situation like this where part two was way more exciting than part one? Let me know in the comments. When was the last time we had that if we ever did? Anyway, uh, just to recap this global.com producer's letter, double rates Goku on the 15th. Uh, we are, blah, 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 yeah, just talking about cool. Carnival coin update coming up on the 21st of February. Easy ace for Gohan and Cell coming up on the 22nd. And we are going to be getting a Dokkan Now broadcast in March, which I did discuss in a previous video talking about when that will be dropping. So obviously the Dokkan Now is for Saiyan Day, as I suspected. Now let's take a look. Oh, wait, uh-oh. I don't want to see any bad words out here. Okay, so now let's take a look at how many stones we can be earning in part D. This is a very close approximation. I won't say it's totally inaccurate. I also won't say it's completely accurate, but it's pretty close. So if we just take a look at the celebration details for JP back when they had this in December, we can get a pretty good idea. 13 dragon stones for login. All right, makes sense. It's about a two week lifespan. Then we've got 15 dragon stones from the missions. I confirmed this on dokoninfo.com where they show the full breakdown of the missions themselves. Now, this is the big get for Global. 33 Dragonstones for the Cell EZA, 33 Dragonstones for the Gohan EZA. So whether or not you care about the character's EZA, the good news is you're getting 66 Dragonstones just from those two events. And I think a lot of people were very happy about that with this announcement, not even about the unit's EZAs themselves, but just about the fact that you're getting over a free multi and then some, which is great. Then we're getting seven Dragonstones during Burst Mode. Now, Burst Mode is a little bit tough for some people, so it's not a guarantee you're going to be able to earn all of the dragon stones, but I think it's pretty close. So seven dragon stones is still good enough to include here. 20 dragon stones for the Super Strike event renewal for TN. So this and burst mode, the second one, were both featured in the, you know, Hachiak celebration details. Could this be shifted around because of the fact that it's being moved up? Maybe. I don't think the Super Strike one's going to change necessarily, but I think burst mode could potentially change. But I also don't think they're going to do that. So we're going to keep both in there. So that's 20 dragon stones for the Super Strike seven for the burst mode and then Hachiak chain battle yes Hachiak chain battle is in fact part of this celebration and it is definitely going to be there when we get this campaign details because the major units that are needed for this are literally the carnival lr goku and his various iterations so um that is going to be another 20 dragon stones you can earn up to 20 it's not guaranteed depending on your skill level or your luck or your commitment to the grind of chain battle and then we can earn up to an additional 27 dragon stones from quest stage 30. Now, I personally don't think this is going to be happening, especially because we just had the 29 update. So dropping a level 30 so soon seems a little premature for Global Dokkan. And not to mention this, the way that they sort of roll out the stages is a two part affair. It's not something that can happen exclusively in one part. For example, this took place during the Yamcha Dokkan Festival part one and the Goku part two. So if they were to do this all in once and cram it into the part two of the ce celebration that we have coming up, it would sort of be a little bit wonky and weird. So uh, that is why I don't think quest mode is going to be coming. But if you want to count it, feel free. So all things considered, the total number we could be seeing is about 140 dragon stones or 170, depending on whether or not you want to be including the quest mode. So let me know in the comments if you guys want to add the, the extra 27 dragon stones. How many stones would you have if you add 170 to the mix or 140, depending on your preference here? So that being said, now let's take a look at what you guys can be doing in the meantime to prepare, starting with the Carnival Goku. If you are planning on summoning for the Carnival Goku, then you already might already know this, but these units only or this unit requires medals that already exist in Dokkan. Any LR that we get, not Dokkan Festival, but Legendary Summoner Carnival LR, typically don't need uh, medals from new events. So here, as you can clearly see, all of these medals are from older events. You need 35 of the Namek Goku Super Saiyan and seven Hachiak medals to get the SSR to awaken into a TUR. After that, you need 14 medals of each of the Z fighters that are involved in the unit to ultimately awaken into an LR form. So just go through these Dokkan events, get them done. You can take all the time that you need. You got plenty of time. You got a few days and you also have got keys if you want to use some keys. But for the Hachiak medal that you need seven of, you actually can get this through the Hero Extermination Plan. Actually, I think this is the only place you can do it. 
all the way down here on stage 24. You got to get this, and it's not a guaranteed drop. It took me about, um, I'd say, 15 minutes to obtain all the medals that I needed. I got a little bit unlucky. These runs are very short, very low on stamina in terms of cost, so it's not going to be that difficult for you guys to get a bunch of runs in all at once. Hopefully, you can get those seven medals and then not have to worry about it ever again. So that is what you can do to prepare for the Carnival Goku. You can do it right now. Coming up next, the Worldwide Download EZA's Gohan and Cell. What can you do in the meantime? Well, you can fully awaken them if you don't have them fully awakened. Most of you probably do. But if you're new players, prioritize getting these two units extreme Z or fully awakened into the LR form. They are very, very good, especially the Gohan. So it is imperative that you get them juiced up as quickly as possible. Android Cell Saga is the category that will allow you to resist more damage when taking on Gohan in his exclusive Extreme Z battle. Kamehameha is the category that you need to resist more damage from Cell on his Extreme Z battle. And the Legendary Power Link is needed to catalyze extra damage against both of these units as they are both LRs. This is an LR Dokkan EZA event. So you got to bring the Legendary Power Link to the table, baby. So that being said, prepare for those EZAs. Worth it. Trust me. Next, learn all about burst mode. Yes, we are getting burst mode most likely during this celebration, which means you kind of got to know how it works. So if you guys want to, I would highly recommend that you guys go check out my burst mode video where I explain how the whole thing works and put it into pretty easy context. And also, you might come across a very funny glitch that happened during the first season of burst mode, which I had no idea was happening. So it's going to be a very, very entertaining video for you guys. I will link that in the description so you guys can go check it out. And uh, yeah, definitely go do so. If you guys are not unfamiliar, if you are unfamiliar with burst mode, go familiarize yourself with it. It's, it's an event that's going to stick around. Chain Battle Hachiak. Now, a lot of you guys probably hate Chain Battle, but if you are interested in trying to get a marginally good score, you're going to have to put together categories, uh, the teams from the categories of Super Saiyans, Bond of Parent and Child, and Giant Ape Power. Um, I will go in more detail what sort of support lines you want for this, but for, in the meantime, from memory, I can tell you that for the super side, you need a bunch of Super Saiyan Gokus, uh, which are like all of these different EZAs. And then also, if you've got more iterations of the Carnival Goku LR, that will help. Obviously, most of you won't have that. And then for the extreme side, it's all of like the evil Vegetas in Dragon Ball Z. So Saiyan Saga Vegeta, the evil Super Saiyan Vegetas, those types of characters. So maybe it could be easy for you to assemble these characters. Maybe it doesn't, depending on who you are. Um, but yeah, whatever you do, the Carnival LR Goku will have the biggest impact on that score. And uh, it's going to be crazy to see how that actually shapes up the landscape. So that is it for Chain Battle. And that is pretty much it. Oh, one more thing. So if we do end up getting Quest Stage 30, which I doubt, but if we do, then these things will also possibly be included with all of that stuff. Because Quest Stage 30 also gives us the next free-to-play unit that gets its EZA via the Quest Mode Rewards. So... If you were to do stage 30, make sure you farm out 495 blue incredible gems so that you can buy all of these medals to awaken this physical free-to-play Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. That is, of course, if you want to. And if you want to, 28-2 or 29-6 are the best stages to farm blue gems. Also, this Extreme Z battle will be giving us a sub easy for the tech Super Saiyan 2 Goku, who also needs his own medals. And all of these can be done in advance. Not necessarily going through stage 30, but farming the blue gems, going to this Extreme Z battle if it's around, or using keys. All of these things that I've listed here are things that you can be doing right now. So if you're bored out of your mind, maybe you don't have the LR God Goku EZA, and uh, you've gotten tired of watching my showcases on the God Goku, then maybe just do all this. Watch my burst mode video. What you know, get ready for Hachiak chain battle, get all of these EZAs taken care of, or even link level, whatever floats your boat. Get her done. That's it. And then also, one more thing. Subscribe to the channel. Trying to hit 70k before Saiyan Day. If we do that, then I will stream Dead Space all the way through. And, you know, maybe I'll do a, I don't know, like a finger reveal or something, maybe? So that is it, guys. Prepare, prepare, prepare. Be responsible. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments. Are you planning on summoning for the Hachiak Goku? Or are you planning on just getting all of those Dragon Stones and saving, saving, saving? Let me know your initial gut feeling about this upcoming celebration in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content of the future and click the notification bell so that you'll let you know when I see more of my stuff. Do it! Thanks again. Stay tuned and I'll to Dokkan responsibly.